This is a memory tool to assist with learning the buccinator. The buccinator is a four-sided muscle that sits in the area of the cheek. It's positioned between two bones, the maxilla and the mandible, shown here, that form the upper and the lower jaw, respectively. The buccinator forms the lateral wall of the oral cavity, in other words, the outside wall of your mouth, and it also forms the anterior portion of your cheek, shown here, so the front side of your cheek. In terms of its points of attachment, the buccinator originates on the mandible and the maxilla, specifically on a portion of these bones known as the alveolar processes. This is the portion of the bone of both your upper and lower jaw where the teeth are going to be embedded, so the sockets where the teeth sit. Its other point of attachment is going to be the orbicularis oris. So here you can see the fibers of the buccinator as they make their way anteriorly. They're going to converge right around the angle of the mouth, and they're going to insert on this muscle that encircles the mouth, known as the orbicularis oris. In terms of its action, the buccinator is important for compressing the cheek against the teeth. So you can imagine during the act of chewing, as you're moving food around in your mouth, any food that may be in, in your cheek, if you're trying to push it back between your teeth, the buccinator is going to be able to compress the cheek and in so doing, move that food between your teeth. Or also, if you're thinking about playing a wind instrument, like a trumpet or a clarinet, where you might be expelling air out of your oral cavity very forcefully, your buccinator is also going to help compress the cheek so you can blow air out more forcefully. So the memory aid to help you learn the action and the points of attachment for the buccinator are as follows. And it will be helpful to understand this image if you're at first familiar with the movie The Terminator. So if you haven't seen The Terminator yet, this is really going to be a spoiler for you because essentially I'm going to tell you what the movie is about and how it ends. So the movie The Terminator is about artificial intelligence becoming self-aware and it starts this war with humanity. And obviously humans are fighting back and they have this leader whose name is John Connor. And so this artificial intelligence entity known as Skynet decides to send back a Terminator, which is an android assassin, send him back in time so that he can kill John Connor's mother before the baby is ever born and therefore humanity will have no leader and they won't be able to fight back. So that's why I've used the image that's shown here is because what I'm trying to demonstrate is in a very cheesy sci-fi fan kind of way a buccinator. So this hopefully is going to help you remember the name of the muscle. So what I've drawn here is a male deer or a buck and I've drawn it to kind of look like a Terminator. So again, if you're familiar with the movie or any of the posters associated with it, it's always got Arnold Schwarzenegger with his cool glasses and then half of his face is made of metal. So remember the origin of the Terminator, he was made of metal. And usually it's like half of his face is gonna be exposed because that was a scene from the movie. Well, here what I've done is specifically I'm only showing the mandible and the maxilla, the upper and lower jaw made of, of metal here to help you remember that is the origin of the muscle. That's where it starts. So the origin and the insertion are going to be the mandible and the maxilla of the buccinator, the buck terminator. If you also remember in the movie, any time a terminator came back from the future and would arrive in the past, there was always this aura or orb of light that would encircle the Terminator. And so that's what I've essentially drawn here. You kind of have this orb of light going around the buccinator. And that hopefully will help you recall the insertion point, which is the orbicularis oris. Okay, so again, you have the origin is the maxilla and the mandible of the buccinator. And the insertion point is this aura, the orbicularis oris. Lastly, in terms of its action, the action of the buccinator was to compress the cheek. And if you recall from the movie, the way that the protagonist of the movie, Sarah Connor, the way that she eliminated the Terminator was they were in a warehouse and the Terminator crawled through this big hydraulic press. She turns the press on and it compressed or crushed the Terminator. So here what I've drawn is this hydraulic press pressing down on the buccinator, somewhat like in the movie, to help you recall that the buccinator, its action is to compress the cheek. So those are the components that you need to know. The origin is the mandible and maxilla. The insertion is the orbicularis oris. The action is to compress the cheek. 
So hopefully you'll recall the buccinator with the upper and lower jaw, the mandible and maxilla made of metal, the orb of light going around it to recall the orbicularis oris, and the hydraulic press to help you remember its action.